Hey, what's up? This is a quick video on uh, <clears throat> Manchi coils. I've gotten a lot of messages here in the past few weeks about people having trouble with their Banshees um, acting up, cutting out, missing a one cylinder, or just uh, randomly cutting off, and then a few minutes later they'll start back up and run fine. And uh, they said it was the uh, ignition coil, put a new coil on it, good to go. And uh, a lot of the problems with these coils are, I myself, I've never seen a coil go bad other than if it caught fire and burned up on you. A lot of the problems with these coils is um, the connection right here in the boot. This boot will come off of here and what you do, this is, this is a blaster coil that I have and this is a banshee coil that I found to show you guys on that's missing one of the plug one of the uh, plug caps so I'm actually going to pull one off the blasty and put it on here. It's a match anyway. So um, What happens is these boots here, they come off. They don't fit real tight. You hold the, hold the cable, hold the wire pull and screw them off and then I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not but down inside down inside there there looks like a little screw anyway the screw just uh, screws into the, to the end of the wire here and see how big and how big that hole is there what happens is that contact in there gets bad and sometimes they arc out and make a bad connection it's just like a bad connection on a on a uh, car with a battery. Battery, can, battery cables are good and tight and everything. You can't move them, but it still won't crank. You take something and beat on them with or clean them, put them back on, fires right up. Same, same deal. What happens is the connection there from arcing and getting loose just uh, makes a bad connection. So what you do is take the plug wire off. I'm sorry, take the plug cap off and you're going to trim off. I'm going to put it back on this one. And you're going to trim off just a little bit of the wire. I'm going to do this one too. Take it off. All right. So pop them off of there, take and trim off just a little bit, maybe a quarter inch, just like that. Then you're left, and don't freak out because there's no hole there anymore, but you can see that copper wire, that fresh copper wire there in the center. So you may, you may need a little bit of WD-40 to help get them on. These will go right back on. Now take and put them back on, push them on until they stop, and then twist a little bit push and twist and it's not going to get tight but you'll start to feel a little bit of resistance as that as a uh, contact in there screws into the wire see right there it's that's about as tight as I, I was going to get before I strip it out so take that one you're done there do the same thing with this one push it in until you feel the contact push kind of firmly twist the first couple of times and then just keep twisting on it and you'll feel it start getting a little tighter that's about as tight as I want to go right there and that's it and you got a good clean connection in there before you uh, haul off and buy a brand new coil or buy a cheap eBay coil that are really bad uh, try that because that may be the whole issue it may get you up and running right away and that's something you can do on on the trails if you got a knife or you know something you can find to cut that wire with but uh, anyway, so I wanted to show you guys. So try that, see what happens. Because, like I said, these coils, I've never seen one go bad. Staters, yeah. Switches, sure. You know, I, I mean, I could fill up a whole truck bed with staters that have gone bad. And over the 16 years I've worked on ATVs, and I mean, I have yet to replace a coil. So anyway, y'all have a good day. God bless. Happy riding. All that good stuff.